Hello friends, so today I am going to discuss about what is national credit framework and how does it propose to change the education system because you know nowadays uh, government of India and uh, UGC are trying to do many things to improve the quality of uh, Indian education system you know also UGC is going to uh, allow to foreign university to start their campus in India also so they are going uh, to permit them uh, by uh, 2023 onwards only the main aim to doing this to improve uh, the Indian education system to provide uh, quality education to Indian students so government of India and uh, UGC is doing many things so a uh, national credit uh, framework is also part of a new education policy 2020 okay so in this video I will discuss about what is a national credit framework and how this is beneficial for a student institution and for university and for country also so we are going to discuss many things because uh, in this national credit framework there are many things one is academic bank of credit I think uh, nowadays most of people uh, is aware about ABC and DG locker second is credit, sy uh, credit system then again multiple exit entry uh, all these uh, terms are part of national credit framework so now uh, uh, what is uh, national credit framework so currently uh, UGC have already launched the, the main concept of national credit framework here I have uh, fetched data from C, uh, from the draft national credit framework uh, which was recently released by the Union Ministry of Education and it is framework under the 2020 national education policy uh, to integrate the credits on by a school graduation higher education uh, vocation training and skill education means here we are going to integrate all the credit earned by a student from primary level to higher level means primary level means we can say the class fifth is primary level and phd is most higher level so now in this uh, type of concept go government is going to uh, or you can say agc is going to integrate all the credit earned by the student okay now uh, the draft uh, national credit framework was uh, formulated by a higher level committee consisting of uh, members from the UGC uh, and from AICT, uh, National Council for Vocational Education and Training and National Institution of Open Schooling and also person from Central Board of Secondary Education again from uh, National Council of Education Research and Training Union Education Ministry, Directorate General of Training, Union uh, Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship means uh, these are the uh, department from which uh, uh, a committee was uh, formed and after a <coughs> multiple uh, discussion finally they released the draft version of national credit framework so in this committee you can see the person from EGC, AICT, NCVT, NIOS, CBSC, NCRT means uh, they are covered all the part who uh, who have a major role in Indian education system now uh, uh, it is you know uh, anyhow natural credit framework is going to be uh, operationalized through the academic bank of credit uh, ABC is launched by UGC last year for higher education because in this uh, basically ABC uh, you can say this is a depository to store the credit earned by the student and nowadays every university is uh, implementing on the PRT basis because UGC has also uh, given a message to all the uh, universities to implement ABC as soon as possible because they are planning many things to change the Indian education system. Uh, in earlier uh, slide I have already discussed about uh, ABC credit system and multiple mul uh, multiple entries and exist all thing is going to be monitored through the ABC ABC is a digital uh, repository of credit the credit would also be linked uh, to DigiLocker to enable verification and portability and this framework would apply 
to courses from class V to PhD means uh, this type is uh, this type of concept is going to be applied from class V to uh, PhD level according to the drop the credit are to be awarded based on the number of learning hours so here 30 hours of learning would translate into one credit point means if you want to earn one credit point means you have to attend the classes of three, 30 hours then you are eligible to earn one credit point credit could also be earned through lab works its sports games innovation lab yoga social work exam class test ncc field bridge extra extra they are many field means here uh, you are going to earn credit through learning as well as through some different work as like lab work if you are doing lab work means you are eligible to earn a credit if you are participating in sports and games you are eligible for uh, for getting credit you are doing yoga social whatever you are doing uh, you are going to earn credit for that the new framework is a part of national education policy which is launched by india government in 2020 according to the framework an academic year will be defined by the numbers of hours a student person means how many student are uh, learning uh, that is going to define the academic year means there will be some uh, specific uh, time and that time is going to define your academic year maybe uh, that can be 1200 hours that can be 1600 hours it's depend credit will be provided to them accordingly at the end of each academic year means after ending each academic year you are going to earn your credit how many hours you have attended your classes how many hours you have participated in different activity according to that you are going to earn the credit the framework has been formulated under the university grants commission and <coughs> now credit system means uh, the report of the high level committee on the ncr put out a public domain proposes credit level from the class 5 onward itself which will be credit level 1 going to the credit level 7 and 8 with post graduation and doctorate respectively so credit level will increase by 0.5 for every year of learning means suppose in class 5 your credit level is 1 means class 6 that will be 1.5 class 7 that will be 2 uh, class 8 that will be 2.8 so in same manner this is going to increase for every year of learning now earning credit means total uh, the total notational learning hour in air for assignment of credit will be 1200 hours means uh, this is going to be defined okay, if you are uh, learning 1200 hours means you are eligible to complete that particular academic year so a minimum of 40 credit may be earned for 12 hours of learning every year means uh, uh, in previous slide we have already discussed that 30 hour is going to define one credit so here 1200 credit uh, hour is going to define 40 credits means within a single year within a academic year you can maximum earn 40 credit if you have attended the classes and the other activities of 1200 hours okay now with 20 credits per semester of six months means your academic uh, year is divided in two part uh, first part is six months second part is six months so six hour uh, 600 uh, 600 uh, hours of learning in uh, first semester and six hundred uh, hour learning in second semester and as we know 30 hour is going to define one credit means per class in uh, per semester you can earn maximum 20 credit as per the national credit framework so each credit will come with 30 hours of learning 30 hours per credit so learning hour in the concept of national credit framework means 
time is spent not just in classroom teaching but also in a range of co-curricular and extracurricular activities means uh, credit is not only concerned with classroom teacher it uh, classroom teaching it is also concerned with other activities i like you know core curricular activities and extracurricular activity if any student is participating in such activities he is he or she is also eligible for getting credit the list of such activities include sports yoga performing arts music social work ncc you know vocational education as well as on the job training intern internship or apprenticeship so this uh, if a student is doing any such activities he or she is also eligible for you know gaining credit now uh, basically uh, what are the main point which are covered in national credit framework uh, one is credit system which we have already discussed ki how you, any student is going to uh, gain credit a student uh, gain credit for the classroom teaching as well as for uh, other activities okay now easy entry and exit so the credit transfer mechanism will also enable a student learner to enter and exit the educational ecosystem both general and vocational at any point of time in such cases do weightage is given to work experience gain or any other training undertaken by the learner means this is a very easy for a student a student can enter or exit at any time as per their commitment do attention to co curricular activities uh, due to this uh, student can participate in curricular and co curricular activities also because uh, anyhow they are going to earn credit for that particular thing if you are not going to give uh, a credit for curricular and co curricular activities so maybe most of the student most of the student will not participate in such activities because they know ki they are going to earn credit only for a classroom teaching so why they are going to participating in curricular and co curricular activities that's why now this is very beneficial of national credit framework ki student can earn credit for classroom teaching as well as for participating in curricular and co curricular activity so this is a very good concept uh, introduced by the national credit framework now a student can participate in other activities as well now aadhar enable student registration so an aadhar enable student registration will take place after student registration and academic bank of credit account will be opened if you want to know more about academic bank of credit so you can see my previous video where i have discussed uh, abc and how you can open the account with abc and how abc is going to work i have discussed all the concept in a detail manner so you can see my previous video also the deposit of degree and credit will take place in those account there will be a knowledge locker along the uh, lines of digital locker so anyhow your credit your abc is going to connect with digital locker now <coughs> academic bank of credit the recently introduced academic bank of credit for higher education will be uh, expanded to allow for end to end management of credit on from school education onward and also include vocational education and training okay so uh, significance of abc is that it would work as umbrella framework for skilling reskilling upskilling aggregation evaluation means this is going to you know work as a umbrella the credit for knowledge acquisition hands on training and positive social outcome outcomes will be a key step for achieving 100% literacy in the next 2 3 years now uh, talking about what is basically benefit of the national credit framework in india so firstly we are going to discuss about the student so national credit framework will ensure uh, flexibility in duration of study courses through the provision of uh, multiple entry and exit or work option as uh, well as pave the path of uh, creditization of all learning hours means whatever you are going to uh, learn uh, what uh, ever you are time is spending for uh, learning you are going to get credit for those particular hour of learning so this is very benefit of national framework of india uh, framework in india and also uh, you are going to use the flex 
facility of multiple entry and exit also it also give the provision of of life long learning anytime anywhere learning uh, for institution uh, national credit framework will bring about a unification of higher education institution to promote uh, multidisciplinary education creating a diverse and rich student knowledge base for government and crf is expected to assist the government to increase the enrollment of a student helping to fulfill the national vision of uh, complementing the uh, demographic divide and transforming into in india into the skill capital of the world and for industry national credit framework uh, will allow a student to attain and secure approved uh, foundational skill developed by industry and be more employable the provision of micro credential will allow integration of quick education of graduation of screening so these are uh, many uh, things uh, which cover national credit from work so uh, you know these are committee uh, by discussing the many aspects they propose a draft of national credit framework uh, the main point is uh, there are three to four point which is very much important in the national credit framework one is abc dg locker then credit system and the learning hours and this framework will apply to courses from class 5 to phd and as we have already discussed 30 hours of learning will translate into one credit point and for uh, whatever uh, a student is doing uh, apart from the classroom uh, learning he or she is also go, uh, going to earn credit for those particular uh, activity as like uh, curricular activity as core curricular activities and your academic year is going to divide into part each part contained uh, six month and maximum credit per semester student can earn that is 20 and uh, uh, 1200 hours uh, is required to complete one academic uh, year and how your credit level is going to increase 0.5 for every year of learning and this is all about uh, national credit framework if you have any doubt any query uh, you can ask me through your comments so thank you for watching this thank you